This is the blue-ringed octopus. And this is Dr. Mark Norman. He's an octopus expert at Museum Victoria. These octopuses are equipped with a really good warning system and it's using brilliant blue rings to flash like police lights to say, I am really deadly and if you come too close, I'll bite you. The venom it carries consists of a highly specialised protein called a tetrodotoxin. It has evolved to paralyse prey like crabs quickly. The venom is supplied to the razor-sharp parrot-like beak from large venom glands deep inside the octopus's body, immobilising its prey. And they have an equally disastrous effect on the human body. In situations where people have died from the bites of these octopuses, They've been handling them and they've bitten with this very powerful saliva going into their bloodstream and within three minutes they're paralysed and they suffocate to death. And in one case in the 1950s, two divers had one, they threw them to each other on the beach and the more they threw the octopus, the brighter the blue rings got. And then the guy put the octopus on his shoulder and said, I'll take it up the car park and show the missus. And while he's walking up the car park, it's bitten straight into his jugular and he was dead within two minutes. Far less dangerous to people but fatal to fish is another bizarre marine killer, the cone shell. Whereas most venom's lethal impacts are based on just a few key proteins, that of the cone snail contains hundreds of toxic compounds. Among them are nerve-blocking chemicals that can induce instantaneous seizure and a strong sedative that prevents the prey from struggling. But like most snails, this one operates at a pretty sedate pace. It only needs to feed once a week, and its super strong venom guarantees that when it does hunt down prey, it almost always makes a kill. However, scientists have actually discovered a way to utilize this venom as a super strong painkiller. Now these animals are cone snails. I mean, they're basically little chemists. There's already been a painkiller that's been extracted from the venom, and who knows what else may be in there. Scientists are now beginning to explore the possibilities of using its natural properties to treat serious diseases of the human body. 